Hey everybody, it's MTK on the MIC, and I just picked up the Arlo Ultra system 4K UHD wire-free security cams and the Arlo wired video doorbell. And today I'm going to do some unboxing of this and maybe some footage of the installation as well. You know, one of the things you have to do when you do the doorbell, and we're going to do that first, is you have to find the chime in your house. In this case it's over here and you're gonna open that thing, you're gonna take the cover off it, that is to say. Whoa, I just put this thing back on there, there we go. You want to be careful not to rip it out of the wall, obviously. There we go. And then there you have the connections for the doorbell. And you're gonna be connecting a small unit to this. You're going to be connecting something to these two uh, wires, and then it's going to put it inside this case or on top of that case. So that's something you got to do. And you're going to want to turn off the breaker. Um, breakers aren't always labeled the great, like in this house they definitely weren't. Take a look. I mean, this was a long time ago that somebody labeled these breakers. And if you look up there, it took me forever to figure out what the story was. Right? Fridge. Lights and plugs. Kit chin plugs I'm guessing, disposal, lights and plugs, washer, dishwasher, LTP, kit place. Well it turns out it's number nine there. LTP, lights on the front porch I guess. But I have to trigger number nine off before I do the install because that's important. But I'm just warning you, it may not be clearly labeled properly if you live in an older place or something. And when I went to uh, figure out which one of the breakers applied to the front porch, something that happened was that the uh, power to the internet went out as well, because the internet is connected to the doorbell, which makes sense. They want something that's always going to be hot. So that ended up being sort of an issue. If I'm going to be doing this install, I'll be doing it without the internet happening. Uh, so it's going to be strictly from my phone, is what we're saying. Now that's okay, because initially what they have you do is you have to download the Arlo app to your phone in order to uh, be able to... Um, connect everything. My problem is, if we get to the stage where we have to connect it to the uh, internet, it's at this moment it's not going to be connected. So we have to figure out how that's going to work. Oh, there's two on this thing, just so you know, sorry. There's two places where you have to cut the uh, tape to get this thing out. The Arlo Wired Video Doorbell is what we're talking about here. This is what it comes in. Nice packaging. I like their logo too. Arlo. Okay, so that's how it looks. It's got some plastic covering you can take off later when it's ready to be used. It's got setup instructions inside. It has. Whoops, these items. Which I'm sure we're going to learn about here shortly. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're installing the Arlo Video Doorbell. Alright, so I wasn't able to show the installation of the Arlo because I had to use my phone to install it. But there it is, right where the old doorbell was. You ring this and the doorbell works. You can hear it. Camera looks out. You can see uh, the sign. Wow, it just called me when I rang the doorbell. That's awesome. <clears throat> so the video doorbell is now set up. I'll put a shot. I'll put a uh, image here of what it looks like when you're seeing out. So uh, I wasn't able to show you how I installed the uh, video 
doorbell because the software you download it and then it walks you through everything step by step so I couldn't use the phone to film the installation uh, it's pretty simple uh, the I opened the chime I connected the little unit put it inside there the power unit and put the chime cover back on I went out to the front I had uh, a different sized doorbell because it was quite old you see quite an old doorbell and so uh, I just unhooked the wires from the two points of contact there and hooked them to the back of the doorbell put it in mounted it and then bloop now it's pretty amazing I just went out there as you saw and when I rang the doorbell the doorbell called me <laughs> on my phone it was fantastic so now we're going to open the cams and see about placing them around find out what we have to do to install this is pretty exciting stuff this is the, the bulk of the expense here and by the way just to be clear this is about one thousand dollars this is one thousand nine dollars and the reason why is not the video doorbell there are many of those but the systems 4k ultra high definition cameras now they have live view they can be accessed globally they have voice control it's an expandable system. It's got multi-user access. You've got 4K video with HDR, color night vision, color night vision, integrated spotlight, 180 degree viewing angle, crystal clear two-way audio, advanced smart hub, I'm not sure what that means, but interesting, and weather resistant and wireless, wire free. So this is where the bulk of that $1,000 went. So let's find out about that, shall we? I'm pretty excited about the doorbell, which works great. I can watch the uh, screen live right here and can communicate with anybody who's at the door at any time. Whenever someone comes up to the door now, the camera automatically films them, which is great, and lets me know that there's someone at the door. In the immortal words of Matt Berry, there's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. IT crowd reference there for tech day here. Uh, and again, beautiful packaging, huh? With their, just their logo on top. It's quite lovely. It's a nice logo, too, generally speaking. You should probably swivel this around here because there's better light. Right. There's somebody at the door. Probably shouldn't shake the thousand dollars worth of cameras. But I assume they packed them nicely, given that they ship them all over the world. Arlo. Now, Arlo gives you three months free of their service, which allows you to save video footage and so on. But they offer, like all of the companies do, uh, they offer a, uh, a way, a plan that you can join. And you join the plan, and there's other benefits to that. And we're going to be probably doing that. But for now, let's take a look at what this looks like. 
It's kind of cool. It's a box with three cams looking at you there on the very top. So when you take that out, oh, that's connected. No, it's not connected. Okay, so when you take that out, those are three cameras right there. They're heavy, though they are small. It's incredible to think about how much power we have nowadays in such a thing. Oh, it's like an eggshell, I see. So you just slip out the cams. The Arlo insignia on the side. One. Two. Three HD Arlo cams. A little eggshell. Right now. Let's see what else is in the box. We have... Oh, look, a lot of stuff here. A mount, that's cool. A cable, USB, looks like a power cable. Oh, this is a magnetic thing for uh, powering up the battery. A battery charger. Let's see what's going on here. This looks like paperwork. Protected by Arlo, should I put that in the door? Arlo, how to set up your wire free camera. That's all the data about that. The base is what we'll be setting up. There's the base. Okay. So we've got our cams, we've got our base, we've got a mount, we've got a power thing. There's a couple of mounts here. Oh, those are magnetic. Woo, woo, woo. That's cool, they're magnetic. <laughs> okay. This could probably go on metal somewhere, huh? Battery. What's a battery? For the Arlo camera. All right? One, two, three batteries for three cameras. All right? Okay. What else is in the box here? Power cords and ether cords. Ether and power. Ether and power. Okay, and some screws for mounting. Get yourself some screws for mounting here. And what else is in the box? In the box? That's it. The box is empty. So, there you have it. The items that come when you buy. A rather expensive three cam HD security system of Arlo. This is what you get right here. All right, let's get to reading about install.